Is dignity in poverty a realistic standard? How much ethical behavior should we expect from people in the face of poverty? Should we accept that three out of five Nigerians cannot be ethical because they're poor? What do you think? I think we can actually expect almost anything from anyone. Okay. Because if people if people feel like, oh, we shouldn't expect dignity from someone who is poor, mm. then when exactly can we expect dignity from them? Mm. Because people who are poor, they will steal, and then they'll have more money, and then they'll think, oh, I don't have enough money, and then they'll steal more. Mm. And then they'll be rich, and then they'll still steal. Mm. Like, I feel like when it comes to morals, mm-hmm. you need to have a limit. So mm. if someone is if someone has dignity and they are poor, mm-hmm. even if they are rich, mm-hmm. or even if they are like middle class, they will still they have dignity. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would I would personally say just mm-hmm. keep to like sensible morals. Mm-hmm. So like so so that regardless of how much money is that one has, mm-hmm. it wouldn't matter because like the morals are they are they are quite unshakable. Poverty is really in the mind. Okay. And uh, ethics has nothing to do with poverty. Okay. Because as someone is poor. Mm. And then go and collect money you shouldn't collect. It's just an excuse. Hmm. Excuse of um, a character deformity. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Because if the person has a good character, mm-hmm. of course, you should be able to know that, look, this is wrong. And especially when the society, you know, condemns it. Of course, of course not everyone in the society condemns it. Hmm. But at least it's wrong. Hmm. Totally wrong. Hmm. So I guess whoever does that, we need to do something about their character. Sandra, there is dignity in bro. Okay. You can do, you can do without it because, it, well, as you said, it has been, it is now a norm in Nigeria that if you are poor and you have an opportunity to do somebody that you're sharp and all that, mm. that God has brought your bread. No, mm. that is deepening yourself into poverty. And mm. that, is, that, that means to say that even if you have that money, mm-hmm. you will still be committing such crimes. Hmm. So, for me, if I'm, I don't have anything and I have the opportunity of stealing from somebody or I have somebody's, uh, uh, let me just say, um, briefcase that, that is full of money, and then I, 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 will, I did not return it. That hmm. means I'm deepening myself into poverty. It might not affect me directly, mm-hmm. but my generation. There is a standard for everything in life. Okay. That is it. Okay. And it's just how the world has evolved. If you were to ask this question, say... Maybe 20 years ago, 100 years ago, the answer would be it is not ethical for a poor man or a rich man Mm. or any man of any class Mm. to take bribe for anything. Mm. So, the thing is that that the world has has gotten worse. uh, How do you you say it? (laughs) Has gotten worse. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And it's gotten worse. And and if if we keep um, rationalizing evil behavior, Mm. we'll just not get it right. Hmm. So, I personally think that it is unethical to accept bribe for anything at all, hmm. whatever situation that you may find yourself. Hmm. And if we actually go the route of the Word of God and the Bible, mm-hmm. it's very clear. One of the reasons why persons didn't do certain things was because they actually had a fear of God. Like, I won't do these things because... I fear God. Mm. Not fear as far as being afraid, mm-hmm. but in reverence mm-hmm. for God. Mm-hmm. You know, so we can actually take God out of most of these things, especially when it comes to morals mm-hmm. or a standard. Mm-hmm. There is a standard for a lot of things.